Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we took down Juan at Zootopolis Gym, who was a massive jerk. We are ready to confront Rayquaza. Just a note, you can't actually come here and do this during the main adventure of Ruby and Sapphire. It would have to be after the final battle of the main story for you to come here. So, only in Emerald can you come do this during the main story. Be absolutely sure that you save before trying to do this, okay? Now, with that out of the way, let's do this! This is Rayquaza, a very aggressive dragon flying type Pokemon. This was where legendary dragons all started. It is level 70. Essentially, if you catch this thing here and now, nothing can stand in your way for the rest of the adventure. You can just plow through the rest of the game without even trying. We're not gonna do that though. I'm gonna catch it, but I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna be going after that. Now, as you see here, I decided I'm going to mix things up a bit using nest balls, net balls, and dive balls in addition to Pokeball, just because I like being an idiot and catching stuff in balls you're not supposed to. I think I'm going to start off the battle by throwing an Ultra Ball at full health and seeing what I get. It's like a 1.5% chance of working. Let's see how lucky I get. One! Oh! That would have been amazing if that worked. What? Okay. You know what? He's not even attacking. Let's just do this. Do it again. One. Oh! There I go, just saying one over and over again. Okay. Uh, let's try the Hyper Beam strategy. Or, I'm not gonna get to do that because extreme speed is higher priority. Okay. As you see at level 70, this thing is a critical hit. Yeah, this thing is a critical hit. It pretty much is the embodiment of a critical hit with how much damage it's gonna do to you at that high of a level. So, let's throw Pandora out there. Let's see how lucky we can get here. I'm kind of curious to see how well I'm going to do because I don't have my Pokemon that can inflict sleep on it anymore. And it keeps doing extreme speed, unfortunately, for me, meaning that I have no chance of attacking first because I don't have priority moves on this team. And Pandora didn't stand a chance. Wow. This could be bad. Go... Altair? If you have a steel type, I highly recommend bringing that along if you have one on your team, but of course I do not. And, ooh. Not counting Goldeen and Seeking uh, in Generation 1 when Waterfall was not yet an HM move, this is one of the first times where you could actually have an HM move naturally on a Pokemon. One. I was hopeful. There's no way I'm going to survive this. Yeah, no chance. I was better off just throwing the Ultra Ball. Crap, this is going to be a lot tougher than I thought. I'm not e I haven't even gotten to attack yet. I should have at least gone for Hyper Beam while Teddy was out. Shoot. Let's go for Fake Out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woohoo, I did that much damage. Let's go for Ice. Oh? Okay. Apparently, it's really making fun of me at this point if it used rest when its HP was that full. But luckily we have Ice Beam, which is a times four weakness to it. It's 30 levels higher than us, so that doesn't matter too much, but hey, we can try. I'm just gonna use Ice Beam once more, and then I think I'll just start chucking the balls at it. Whoa, okay. I did a little more than I was expecting, not by much, but let's go for the uh, Nest Ball. Have hearts pop out of the almighty Rayquaza. Nope, didn't work. Crap. I was really hopeful, though. Come on. Uh, let's try the netball! I'm just being a dork at this point, honestly. I like using Pokeballs that you're not supposed to use, just because it's funny. Ah! Uh, figured I'd mix things up a bit this time, like I said, and uh, I don't have much confidence in Kappa to survive that. Well, 
Let's try the dive ball. I'm just gonna try every type of ball that I can, even though I'm not supposed to. Ah! And ooh, um, this is what you really don't want to happen. Outrage. Outrage is bad for both you and him. It's a dragon type move that is ridiculously powerful. It most certainly will one hit KO anything this low a level unless you have like really godly defense. Actually, bringing along Regirock might not be a bad idea. Well, actually, no um, special defense because Dragon type is special in this game. But yeah, it's just let's try the good old Pokeball. But yeah, it's really not good for you if that happens. One, ah. And on top of that, after it's done using Outrage, it'll become confused, meaning that it could very well take itself up. Whoa! I was not expecting a cool tent to be able to barely survive a hit from it. If that's the case, then let's keep healing up. And it's confused. I'm gonna hope that it attacks itself because I needed to weaken itself just a little bit more, but with my luck, it's probably gonna get to use rest. Okay, HP has been restored. What's it gonna do? It attacks itself! Very good. I don't want to poison it, obviously. That'd be a really stupid move. So let's go for, you know what, let's go for the Ultra Ball. Let's be boring. Let's try it. I kind of don't want it to work, but at the same time, I kind of do. Not even a one. All right, what's it doing? Uh-oh, that's not good. Uh, another Ultra Ball, because I kind of don't want it to beat itself. I kind of want it to stay alive, so I kind of don't want to reset. One, two, ah, oh, two is the best I got. And yep, no question that it was going to do that. So it's at full health, but it's asleep for three turns. I say we try each of the offbeat Pokeballs, see how lucky we get. Nothing. Nothing! Nothing! Uh, once again, I guess it's just a little tip of advice, a little bit of advice. You don't want to use your Master Ball on this thing. It's really, really not good for you to do that because there's something much more annoying that you want to use your Master Ball on later. And I'm thinking that unless some kind of miracle happens, I'm gonna have to reset here because I don't see myself being able to catch this thing because it's at full health and I don't think Moogami's gonna be able to survive long enough to get an attack in. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much screwed. Oh, well, I get an extra turn. Now. Wow, that sucks. One, two, oh. One. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed defeating my Altair. Now the world's weather will be thrown completely out of balance and Maxi would be free to make an evil return. Uh, hope you enjoyed that, K.O. Rayquaza. Really hope you enjoyed it. I didn't even level up from that. And I like how in the one Pokemon that it would make sense for it to fly away, there's no tech saying that it did. Catch it in a butterfly net! Zero. Now, uh, there's something that I really want to debunk here while I'm trying to catch Rayquaza and some ridiculous Pokeballs. There's always, 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 always been some kind of rumor that you can hold down B, you can hold A, you can hold up in A, you can hold... A, B starts to like, okay, not A, B starts to like, but there's always been those rumors that there's some kind of button combination that you can hold, and it will make a Pokemon catch more often. There is no such thing. There is nothing in the game's programming that supports this at all. It is just a rumor. No such thing actually exists. And before anybody says, I've done it and it's never failed for me, well, think about it. That's because you've done it every time. <laughs> if you swear that it works for you, it's pure luck. There is nothing in the game's code that makes catch rate better, aside from just using a better Pokeball, lowering its health, and having a status infliction. There is nothing that you can do, no buttons you can press while it's catching, 
or while it's in the Pokeball, but we'll give it a higher chance. There is no such thing. I've even heard some as ridiculous as saying that you can yell into the microphone of your DS saying gotcha, 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 gotcha over and over again. That doesn't work either. There have been countless things like that, and none of them are true at all. It's kind of funny because some of those rumors have gotten even more ridiculous as more and more generations of kids have gotten into Pokemon. But those are just the ones that I've heard personally. They are pretty freaking ridiculous when you actually think about it. But I'm not even getting to attack here. I'm just trying to tell you about that. So one, two, three. Oh! I thought I did it. I thought I got it in full health in a Pokeball. Oh, you suck. Wait, I'm in the presence of Kappa. I gotta be Mexican. Uno, dos, tres! Yeah! Green health! Ka it might have been in an Ultra Ball, but it was green health. Apparently, being Mexican while using Kappa is what works. Okay, so. Regirock was in a Premier Ball. Regice was in a Pokeball. Registeel was in a, in a Pokeball. This was in an Ultra Ball, but in green health. Okay. Took four attempts, but here we go. A Pokemon that flies endlessly in the Ozone layer is said that it would descend to the ground if Kyogre and Groudon were to fight. All right. We got it. We got the Pokemon on the cover art. It's all falling action from here. So, now that we have Rayquaza, feels awesome to say that, we're going to end this off here. Next time on Pokemon Emerald, we're going to head to Evergrande City, the last stop on our map. See you guys then.